What is five it? What's languages? the five love languages? You are right. So I got all those down except for touch and what else? The last one? Where is the affirmation? Well, I got them all except for touch. Don't touch me. <laughs> but That's he always I, slapped me, though. I don't understand it. <laughs> he can touch you, but you don't touch him. Well, that's a different type of touch. <laughs> like when I say that's don't touch, like love language. we're not don't, don't say you remember as kids driving in my daddy's Cadillac. He had five kids in the back of a Cadillac. Woo! Don't touch me, nigga. We all touch. We all like this. Kitty was in the front, so she was lucky, or fortunate rather. But <laughs> like me, you sitting right next to you, if we talking and watching TV, the same thing. You don't have to be like, oh man, you see this? Don't touch me. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Right here, right here. Don't stretch your knee out and touch my knee. I feel some type of way. Does that make you uncomfortable? No, it makes me mad. And I haven't figured it out. I need to go talk to somebody. It makes them uncomfortable? I need to go talk to somebody. I think that's Derek's love language, honestly. He just got to break that... uh, Don't touch me. You can do anything you say. Don't touch me. If you you jump... Nope. If you come anywhere between my middle finger, (laughs) you're in my personal space. I don't like it. You got a bubble? I mm. definitely is. You probably don't like people touching you because you grow up with everybody always touching you. In your you know, space, in your, space, your personal space. space. Now you're just like, it the, triggers you. Yeah. Mm. You're defining your... Thanks for body. figuring it out. Because that makes sense. There was too many of us in the house. And too many out in your room. <laughs> in one room. For sure. Do you guys have a love language? Or something that you guys share between each other? Hmm. Spotlight on you. Good question. <laughs> I would say, um, for me, and I'm assuming we're talking more like romantic type of love. No, it can be anything. No, it can be anything. Yeah. You heard my Especially love language. Especially was she the, uh, out of the five? What was that, five? Because my love language, uh, being a people pleaser, I could just do something to the most random person. Like, I feel like I read people. Or you could sense when somebody's being genuine, like, oh, they really need it. Me helping somebody out and they don't expect it, that makes my whole day. It's like, oh, I did something for him or her. Yeah. So that's not being romantic. So yeah. I, I, well, uh, let me let me touch on both there. Um, I, I think um, let's step to that. Well, me being a people pleaser. Yes, I ain't got nothing to say. Yeah, love it. languages. Let's no, step to love, love languages. languages. What we got over so, here? Thank you. I really think that. Um, a lot of it is just is just revolving around communication and, and connection, right? Understanding who you're dealing with. And we're talking about from your your spouse, your mate, to your your homie. You know what I'm saying? Like like you said, I, I, the, a minute ago you grabbed his leg and y'all was laughing because we was laughing about something. But but I you, hate it. If he does to me, I get pissed. You, you probably know not to do that because it would be like, okay, you know we what, gotta, Matt? We got cut. I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> and what's crazy is he does this all the time, right, right. too. Be like, all right, one of these times I'm going to grab your shoulder. I'm going to say, it's going to be on, right? You know what? But the thing like, is, when I want to But fight I, you. I know. All like, jokes yeah, aside, I know and this not I'm even going. being. <laughs> he likes that. Yeah. I, that's I, my love it language. Don't you. It don't bother you. It don't bother you. Yes, yes. It don't bother you. Even if you've seen two grown men out in at the bar, and I'm like, hey, Matt, ha, ha. They come out, are they boyfriends? Yeah. I, maybe, maybe. I mean, it depends on where you are. Right? It depends on where you are. I guess I'm the only ignorant one in the room because I'm gonna say, "Oh, look at these." Sip. That's what we gonna say when we bleep things out. It's gonna say sip. It's gonna sound like a Star sixty four movie. Oh sip. Let him finish this. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But not to interrupt. I feel like it's just more about really being able to connect with you know other people and and, and understand what their needs are and how to be able to, to, to address those needs, whether it's physical touch, whether it's silence. Because sometimes communication is saying nothing at all. True. Right? Sometimes you just need to shut, the, you just need to shut up. And I say it all the time. Shut the learn to up. shut up. Yeah. Just learn to shut up sometimes, right? And that's sometimes the best communication. Sometimes, you know, it might be a hug or it might be a kiss or it might be a kiss on the forehead. You know, it's different types of kisses it's different types of hugs i'm gonna hug my mom differently from the way i hug my wife differently from the way i hug my brother differently you know it's it's understanding 
what's needed and delivering. 